Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rata Lessons. Welcome back to another video. I can't believe I haven't reviewed this one yet. This is a classic, it's been around for such a long time. Better late than never, I suppose. So from 1985, this one by the company Calvin Klein is called Obsession. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on it, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. It would mean so much to me. And of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. So a 1985 release, this one was composed by Jean Guichard. And this one actually gets compared a lot to a fragrance that I believe came out in 1981 by Cartier, and it's called Must de Cartier. And when you take a look at the note breakdown, there's actually a lot of similarity. And so you have the spices that are in here, it's a little sweet so I'm kind of getting like a little bit of cinnamon but I think there's also coriander in here as well you're gonna get the vanilla the tonka bean there's a little bit of civet there are some earthy elements I believe Cartier's version has galbanum this one has oak moss and so it's a very complex fragrance and it's also one of Calvin Klein's most popular releases and I think the fact that it's been flankered so many times is a testament to its popularity. Now, before I proceed with this review, I do want to mention that if you are interested in picking this fragrance up, you may buy it at fragrancebuy.ca. So this video is being shot in partnership with them. I'm going to leave their information down below and they have a lot of really hard to find designer and niche fragrances for a really good price. And despite the fact that they're located in Canada and I'm in the United States, I always get my packages very quickly from them. And so I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell of this classic from Calvin Klein, but let's start things off with the presentation. Now, I think this fragrance really stands out from other Calvin Klein fragrances because it's on the sweeter side. And when you think of Calvin Klein, you think of CK1, CKB, maybe you think of Escape, maybe you think of Reveal. And oftentimes, we don't get too many sweet, warm, vanillic, ambery fragrances from Calvin Klein, unless of course we're talking about, you know, um, some older fragrances from the brand or perhaps even some flankers, but this has that spicy, ambery, vanillic warmth in the base that I think is such an iconic smell. And it's also one of the most recognizable smells out there. And so I can smell obsession and I know right away it's obsession. And that happens for a lot of fragrances. And I'm sure you share a very similar experience to mine. Now there's something animalic in here in the base, but you're not gonna get it right away because a lot of the base notes are being drowned out by the top and the heart notes. Now there's a little bit of citrus in here as well, but it doesn't open up too bright or vivacious with any of that citrus. As a matter of fact, I think it very quickly fast forwards or evolves to that sweetness that you're gonna get from it. And I think it is coming from a few different directions. I think it's also coming from a little bit of coumarin that's used in the base, from the vanilla that's in here, from the spices, you know, especially that cinnamon vibe that I'm getting from this fragrance as well. But then there's this earthy element that I'd be remiss if I didn't mention. And so this one has oak moss in it. Not only does it have oak moss, but it has a lot of other classic men's you know, perfume ingredients that were quite abundant in the 1980s and 1970s. And despite the fact this came out in 1985, I think it does draw influence from some classics that preceded it, namely Must de Cartier, which came out four years prior to the release of this one. And so I am getting a little bit of that spicy carnation thing in here that's found in some other fougere fragrances. Although this is not a fougere, it kind of has that classic green element that you're gonna find in a lot of masculine fragrances that came from that time period. However, this one does it differently in the sense that it utilizes that amber in the base. There's also a little bit of benzoin that's used in the synthesis of that amber accord. And I get that, you know, slightly medicinal overtone from the benzoin in here. And there's a smooth creaminess that's found in the base, which inevitably is coming from the sandalwood. It's amazing because you smell this fragrance and you're just thinking about how many fragrances succeeded it 
that you can kind of compare this one to that inevitably drew influence from this one. This was such a powerhouse in the industry. I know a lot of people in my life who have personally worn not just the men's version, but the women's version as well. And so it's become one of these legendary aromas, one of these iconic scents where, you know, everybody knows obsession. Who doesn't know obsession, right? And so I'm personally a fan of this one. I had a bottle in my collection way back in the day not really sure what happened to it, if I discarded it or if it, you know, somebody took it from me, I really don't remember. But I purchased this one, I think in March of 2020 or April of 2020. So I've had it in my possession for a good year now. Not really finding the time to wear it, I will be honest, just because there's always something new that I'm testing and sampling, but you know, you smell it and it's a trip down memory lane. And so I think it's still relevant today. I think this has the type of fragrance that even a lot of contemporary designer and niche fragrances are sort of playing off of because we do see a lot of mass marketed men's fragrances that are utilizing tonka bean and vanilla and amber. And so it has one of these DNAs that is so iconic and it's so classic, but at the same time, it's modern. And so that's not something that can be said about all Calvin Klein fragrances, unfortunately, but Calvin Klein is one of these powerhouses in the industry where every single year they're going to put out like three or four fragrances, right? Whether it be an original or a flanker or whatever. Uh, but in this case, of course, this is the classic obsession. They have made a more contemporary version, which is called Obsessed. It's found in a clear bottle. Uh, personally, I think I prefer Obsession just because it's hard to, you know, put the classic by the wayside, right? I think there's a lot of respect that it's earned throughout the years. But nevertheless, great fragrance from Calvin Klein. You can see why it is one of their most iconic fragrances and I'm happy that I have this one in my collection, whether it be because I wanna wear it from time to time or as a reference or whatever, it's a fragrance that I think everybody should have in their collection. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, Yes, it did get compared to Must de Cartier, which preceded it by four years. So one might argue that it's not totally unique, um, but in terms of a lot of the other fragrances that succeeded it, it's fairly unique. Um, but yes, there is that connection that is inevitable and you know we're not going to ignore it. The overall smell, very appealing. And I think despite the fact that it was released more like 35 years ago, it's still quite relevant today, you know? And so it has that ambery backbone that we're still smelling a lot of in a lot of men's fragrances today. Women's fragrances as well, believe it or not. Longevity on this one is about five hours on my skin. I'm sure there are gonna be people commenting down below telling me about how when it came out in the 1980s, it was this powerhouse and it lasted 12 plus hours. I believe you, you know, and unfortunately we are seeing that the fate of a lot of fragrances is determined by all of these reformulations that are occurring throughout the decades and thus weakening the formula and now it's kind of a shadow of its former self. That's quite unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure that when it first came out in 85, it was very powerful. Nowadays, you can expect about five hours on your skin. Projection is great for the first hour of application. It does start to sit closer to the skin around that two and a half to three hour mark. Right around that five hour mark, you are going to need to reapply. Versatility is good. I think you can wear this one in any season, any occasion. I think there are gonna be a lot of people out there that probably don't wanna wear it in the summertime. I think if you're indoors, you can pretty much wear it whenever you want. Uh, but if it's like a really hot day, 40 Celsius, 100 Fahrenheit, you know, this one might choke you out a little bit. In terms of occasions, like I said, you can wear it dressed up, dressed down. The only thing is that you risk people being able to detect the fragrance off of you and knowing what it is. But if you don't mind, if you're like, hey, it's a classic, I'm gonna proudly display it on my skin, then you be you, right? These are just recommendations and I have no problem wearing this one myself. In terms of the presentation, of course, it's an iconic bottle, classic look. Who can not you know, be able to pick this one up from a shelf? So the final verdict on this fragrance is if you are looking for a trip down memory lane, if you want a spicy, green, ambery, vanillic, animalic scent from Calvin Klein, not too animalic though, must emphasize that. And you know, perhaps you've owned this in the past, you wanna reawaken some of those memories. I would definitely check out you, uh, I would definitely recommend that you check out uh, Calvin Klein's Obsession. It is such a classic fragrance. I'm proud to have it in my collection. 
again. <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your viewership. That was my review of Obsession by Calvin Klein. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, anything at all, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. It's free. It would mean so much to me. And again, if you are interested in picking up this fragrance, you may do so at fragranceby.ca. All of their information as well as a coupon code is gonna be down below. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye.